Alright guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at this program called Scratch Tools. It was developed by another Scratch Live user, Nick39. And the Scratch Tools program can do a lot of cool things with your crates and database and library in Scratch Live. It does a lot of features and functions that are missing from Scratch Live currently. And we'll be going through and taking a look at some of these features that Scratch Tools can do. Now I'm not going to actually be showing you how to set them up and do them. I've already made videos and text tutorials on how to do all that. And I'll post up the Scratch Tools form address so you can go and download the program and read all the guides and figure out how to do it yourself. Uh, it is a command line based program. There's no graphical user interface for it yet. Uh, so you're gonna probably going to need to read the guides first to be able to do it. Because uh, it is a command line based program and it can be confusing at first, but once you get it set it up and running, uh, it's a very invaluable time saving tool that I highly recommend and I can't live without now. So uh, let's open up Scratch Live. Now, there's been a lot of feature requests to be able to link folders to crates in Scratch Live. So let's say I have this wrap crate right here, and that is mirrored to this wrap folder in my music folder uh, right here. So I have some songs in it, and these same songs are right down here in the crate. Now, when you update, when you put new f songs into that folder, the crate does not automatically update in Scratch Live. So if I go in here, let's say I got these new songs. Um, so I'm going to move them into the wrap folder. Let's close this now. Uh, if we open up Scratch Live again, uh, the wrap folder does not automatically update with the new songs. Uh, you can't do that in Scratch Live, but Scratch Tools can. So I'm going to run this command that I already have set up. As I mentioned, I'm not going to be going through how to do the commands. I'll leave that to you to research and figure out on your own. Uh, but Nick and I will help you out on the forums to get it set up and running. So let's run this command. And as I mentioned, it's a command line program. It'll open in terminal on a Mac or uh, in command prompt if you're on a PC. So I ran the command. So if I open Scratch Live again now, if I go into the wrap crate, we should see, bam, I have the new songs now that I... Uh, put in the folder. I didn't have to manually go to the import panel and you know find the folder and drag the new songs into the crate. Uh, so uh, a good time-saving tool, especially if you have you know dozens, if not hundreds, of crates. Um, you know that can save you a bunch of time. Uh, another thing that Scratch Live cannot do that Scratch Tools can is let's say I have this folder on my hard drive. Uh, where is it at? Connix's music. Okay, so this is the parent folder. Then in this folder, I have even more subfolders, and in, that, in those folders, I have even more subfolders. In this case, I have it uh, for each year, and then for each year, uh, inside that folder, I have the subfolders for each month. Now, there's no way to just import this parent folder, and all these subfolders and sub-subfolders get imported as subcrates and sub-subcrates. So you can see, it just makes the parent crate, so I have to go there and manually drag each folder over into a crate, and I have to drag it up onto that to make it a subcrate, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it's a big pain in the ass. It's not that it's hard, per se. It's just very tedious and time-consuming. And there should be a way to just import a parent folder and all its subfolders get imported. Well, Scratch Live cannot do this currently, but Scratch Tools can. So let me just delete that first of all. I'm going to close out Scratch Live. Now, if we run the command in Scratch Tools, uh, we'll open in text edit. We want to make sure it opens in Terminal. So uh, it's going to do the command, and easy as that. Let's open up Scratch Lab now, and we should see I have a bunch of new crates and subcrates. So there's my Conix music folder, and then it has all my year subfolders, and then in each um, year I have the sub subfolder uh, for each of the months. So again, uh, this would have taken me, you know, a good half hour, 45 minutes to import all these folders, you know, drag them up and down, rearrange them. Uh, and, you know, it's just a very tedious and time-consuming task, but Scratch Tools can do this in, you know, five seconds with the click of a mouse and stuff like that. So, again, very handy and invaluable time-saving tool right there. Uh, let's close out of Scratch Live again. Uh, what else can Scratch Tools do? Um, oh, yes. Uh, sorry. Should have just left open. So let's open Scratch Live again. Now, a lot of times when you start getting a lot of crates, some people, they want them, it's been suggested a lot to have, uh, be able to sort all your crates alphabetically. And as you can see here, these aren't in all alphabetical order. And of course, you could sit there and you know drag each crate up and down to get it in uh, alphabetical order. But you know, if you have dozens, if not hundreds, of crates, you know that's just you know 
it's not that it's hard per se, it's just very tedious and time consuming and there's there should be a way to just set a master, uh, you know, sort crates alphabetically function in Scratch Live and um, unfortunately there isn't. But um, this is again something that Scratch tools can do. So I'm going to run the command, it's going to do its thing. Uh, let's close out of terminal, open up Scratch Live, and now all my crates will be in alphabetical order, uh, like so. So we have A, B, C, nah, I don't have no C, D, E, F, G, H, I, so, uh, yeah, as you can see, all my crates are in alphabetical order now. Uh, and it even does all these sub-crates, too. Um, you can specify the order. If you just want to uh, sort one crate in all its subfolders, you can just do that. Or if you want it to sort all your crates alphabetically, you can do that also, which is what I did here. So again, very time-saving, invaluable tool to uh, have. So I didn't have to sit there and manually drag each track and, you know, um, again, it's just something that will save you a bunch of time doing. Uh, so that was sorting all your crates alphabetically. Uh, scratch tools can also reset all your columns in uh, Scratch Live. You may notice over time, oh, where's my wrap folder? You have your columns start getting all different and kind of jumbled up. And again, there's no easy way in Scratch Live to just, you know, set a master column format for all your crates. You have to sit there to go into each uh, each crate, set all the columns you want, order them the way you want them, uh, and then you go. And it's just a big pain in the ass, really. I mean, there should be a way to just set the master column format in order for all your crates. Uh, but again, you can't do that in Scratch Live, but this is something that Scratch Tools can do. So I'm going to run the command. And you can choose whatever columns you want from the available list, and you can set them in any order. Uh, I'm going to have all my crates be song, artist, BPM, length, and genre. So I'm going to run the command. And it's done. Open up Scratch Live. And all my crates now should be song, artist, BPM, length, genre. That's how it's going to be for each and every crate. Uh, so again, just a very invaluable time-saving tool that... Uh, you know, just makes it so much easier to, you know, make make your library in Scratch Live and keep it nice and clean, and tidy, and organized. So, uh, you know, just something I can't live without now. Uh, Scratch tools can also export all your crates to text files. Now, a lot of you, uh, well, this is a very big feature request, is to be able to export your review list at the end of your set to a text file because you know a lot of people they want to have a printout of their set list if you play on the radio uh, more than likely you have to turn in a uh, printout of your set list to your program director your music director whatever uh, so scratch tools can do this also uh, you can export all your crates to text files which you can then open in a spreadsheet program like Excel uh, so let me run the command okay it's done and then I exported it to my documents folder and there's another crate folder in here, and here we go. Now we have each and every one of my crate as a text file. Uh, you can open it up in text edit Word, and it's a semicolon separated value file. Uh, so it could be, it looks a little messy right now. You might just clean it up, but as I mentioned, you can open it in Excel or another spreadsheet program. And after a little bit of cleaning up, you should have a nice spreadsheet like this uh, that you can print out and do whatever, uh, do whatever with it. Or this is also a good way if you want to have an Excel spreadsheet catalog database of your entire music collection. Uh, so again, this is something that Scratch Live currently cannot do, but Scratch Tools can. Uh, so definitely, I recommend you check out Scratch Tools. Um, and it's, it's just an amazing program. Uh, it's free. Uh, and if you find it useful, you can donate to Nick39. Uh, but it's not definitely not required. The program is free for you to download and try out. Uh, if there's no demo version or anything, it's the full version, so um, yes, I recommend you check out Scratch Tools. Nick and I are on the forums, and we'll help you get it up and running. Uh, so again, yep, check out Scratch Tools. It's a very handy, time-saving tool, and as it says here, Scratch Tools is the ultimate database crate management tool for Scratch Live. So check it out, Scratch Tools.